Alright, it's time for you to pay for what you've done to me and my whole community. Hello. Hi, I'm Beetle, and this is... Wait, what? <laughs> okay, so maybe that got a little bit out of hand. So, disclaimer, I was just joking, I'm actually a big fan of Lavender Town. Photoshop versus MS Paint. I wanted to make this extra difficult for myself, so I tried to use things that I know that Photoshop has that Paint doesn't. Now, I'm not saying you should use MS Paint, I just use it by chance, but there's a lot more that MS Paint is capable of. I thought about it for a while, should I just remake this image? Because that was my initial intent, to make the exact same image and show that it is actually possible to do something like that. And I could do that, but I chose not to. I didn't want this to feel like a fixture art, so I instead was inspired to do my own version. And after brainstorming, I felt a lot more confident with this as a way to show why I love MS Paint. So hey, if you happen to like what you see, please subscribe and become a beautiful grub just like this one. Ah, just don't look at it too closely. <laughs> Let's start the sketch. Now, the sketch is actually very important for me. Here, you can see one of my favorite things to do, and that is a really intense and forced perspective. I know, I'm still following some ideas from the original, because I want to keep it that way, but still, giving it my own flair. And also, I believe Lander Town was uh, wondering if she should do a sketch, but thing is you can and there it is i know lavender town isn't used to ms paint so no hate to her i appreciate a lot the attempt and i think it was a pretty fun video and just to be clear nobody should be mean to someone for not knowing what to do in their first time much less in ms paint but this was uh, really fun for me I feel like my style does come across and yeah, uh, a cool challenge. Line art. Here I'm just doing the line art and yes, over the sketch as it is, but also pushing thicker outlines and making the right shapes that I want to work with. I couldn't make a sketch like I could in Photoshop because there aren't any layers. You're not wrong, but you can sketch as you can see. You can draw the sketch and just erase it later. You just have to remember to do that after the liner. Just as a note, Haley had trouble with the outline and the way that the color bucket was filling it in. The thing is that using that brush does give those weird results, but it is normal to be confused. I used to do that at first. Erasing the sketch. It's an easy method. I'll be sure to make a good MS Paint guide soon, but essentially you just need to erase that sketch color and you're done. See? Clean. Flat colors. Now, when adding colors, I just need to get an overall idea of what I'm going to be working with, so that whenever I start to shade and go crazy with the colors, I can just work off that base that I have. Nothing too fancy, although I am already using some extra, I don't know, techniques that I like to do sometimes. Uh, one of them is actually filling in the whites with an almost white but not quite color in areas just so that it's easier to work with. And here we have it. Just one little step away of looking real good. Shading. Now here is where the fun begins and when MS Paint can actually shine more than it in theory should. While you can't do gradients easily, I feel the limits of MS Paint led me to go in a really creative direction on how to use the colors in this. I tried to pick colors that I know work well with each other, to do the lights and the shades. I knew it already was the inspiration of sorts, but I was just so impressed when doing the submerged area of the drawing, 
I noticed how much it does actually feel like a Ghibli thing and I was so excited. And many times I mostly do three tones with the base color included but when I want to be fancy I go for a little bit more which I did in this case and I find it very fun because it makes it pop a lot more and after this the quality of the drawing at least in my eyes really jumped up quite a lot but we are not done yet the water shading so we get to that umbrella or how did you call it the umbrella <laughs> well with that I just wanted to show off there is this method that I do use to make better gradients than normally in MS Paint. You see, I decided to showcase several things in this umbrella. First, in the interior, I still wanted to show my typical style and just do several tones in good looking shapes. But now, the mighty gradient. Look at this. Now with this, we get to see the marker brush shine. It is pretty easy to just go color picking and then marker back and forth to get a decent looking gradient. But wait, I'm covering it all up? Well, let's just look at it in real time and see what I do. Bam! Just like magic. No, but really, it's just an easy trick to fill just the area with the color that you had selected, which was the blue from the umbrella and I did go over the gradient twice. At first, I didn't feel it was enough to show a change, so I tried getting up to a darker, almost reaching purple color, maybe lavender. <laughs> okay, forget that. <laughs> Scratch that background. Well, it's simple, I'm just doing the background without messing with the image, just using the eraser to edit the colors in the back. I go into more detail with it, like some of the shades, but just using that same idea of blocks of color that can work well with each other, while still just following the original idea of the drawing. And look, I admit, even as the king of MS Paint, well, maybe at least Prince, I don't know. <laughs> L look, this was at least cartoony. If Haley did something realistic in Photoshop, maybe then I would really struggle too much to even take up the challenge. But maybe one day, Emma's Paint photorealistic drawing coming soon. <laughs> no, not really, and don't ask for that. <laughs> maybe one day, maybe one day Phew. details since something that i added was that perspective it also came with some implied movement which gives us this amazing looking water drops all over the drawing and i of course wanted to give them a good deal of emphasis this was just me having fun dealing with different tones for each area and if you look closely on those water drops, I was just giving them different tones so that it's more personalized. And finally, giving them all a different colored outline which works really well with semi-transparent or translucent stuff, you know. This was just one of my finishing touches. And here we go. MS Paint is clearly not the best tool, but it is also, for a funny reason, the program I'm most used to working with, but hopefully I can genuinely show that I can overcome these challenges set by Haley. And I repeat, overcome, since MS Paint is not the best program, so of course they are in a way just workarounds and not a direct translation of the tools that Photoshop has. So. I really like the original, but with this I can finally prove how great MS Paint can be. I love Lander showing and that it had some Ghibli style in it too. All in all, it was just awesome doing this and I hope if you're watching this that you also really like the result. 
thank you and use Samus Paint in moderation. <laughs> Be careful of side effects. I'm just kidding and messing around. <laughs> to everyone still here, thank you very much for watching. I'll try to see you very soon. Please subscribe and bye bye.